Hi, my name's Tony Gardner. I'm the writer and director of Densphere. The, the very first day you had the idea of Densphere? I went from the back of a, a, another film I'd done, a feature film, and uh, it was funding what really sort of brought the film down. Um, so I was actually at the verge of like just quitting filmmaking altogether, you know, on an amateur sort of level. It's so hard having to fund your own films. Um, and you know, actors, uh, they've got day jobs, they've got other responsibilities. So trying to get everyone together, was always you know a hard thing to do uh, so I was, I was in that mindset where I just wanted to walk away from filmmaking and uh, and that's when I got the idea of you know reverting back um, to having a smaller cast of people um, and just just everything a little bit more basic really and since the first film how has the, the second draft of the script or the second film um, changed oh very different I think I mean the the main outline of the movie, the you know the, the storylines, there still. Uh, this movie is a lot darker. Um, it, it plays on the emotions more. I think the character of Paul Johnson uh, has been through a hell of a lot in this. Um, and basically, I wanted to, I know I wanted the audience, you know, to feel for him to be on his journey as well. Uh, and that goes for the three uh, three friends as well. Uh, it's to follow their journey, and uh, you know they're feeling the pain as well as uh, you know Paul's lost his fiance so they they're feeling emotions with him being so close and friends since you know like primary school uh, the, the the very close bond between them and i think yeah i think you know it's going to show hopefully it's going to show the closeness between the three friends um, so tell me a little bit about your character <laughs> My character is a little man who likes to hide behind the camera <laughs> and doesn't act as much these days. Is there any characters in the film where you feel you're most sort of reflect? Is there anybody who you wrote into the script where there's, there's parts of you or anything like that? Or are they just all fresh characters? Uh, probably the original film, I sort of like kept it close to my character because I don't consider myself really an actor as such. Uh, I think I've always been more of a director. So... Um, the original film probably had more of me in it. Uh, this one, I wanted to go for a fresh approach, uh, and I wanted to give the the characters, you know, the actors. I wanted to give them a lot of, um, you know, flexibility with the with their parts, and um, you know, let let them have a bit of freedom with the characters, and uh, hopefully it'll bring something fresh, something new. And how did you find the casting uh, for this film? I thought it was really good actually, it was really uh, really interesting. Scott Thomas did actually come to the audition to be cast as Paul uh, and it didn't feel quite fit the part for that but he did come back for the character of Bailey and it was just without a doubt I was like my god this this is Bailey. It's flamboyant, he's like he's funny and it's just like yeah this is without a doubt it was just perfect. What was it you're seeing in uh, Craig that he brought to Dean? And so what made you cast him? I like his manliness. <laughs> I love the manliness. <laughs> yeah, he's, Dean's character is, he's a, he's a man's man. He's a, you know, he's, a, he's a ladies' man as well. <laughs> he's, a, yeah, he's had his share of women in the past. Um, he's, he's a cheeky, cheeky kind of character. Uh, he's not scared of nothing, really. You know, nothing phases him. So, uh, the main sort of protagonist in this film is the lead character, Paul. What was it you were looking for when you were on the hunt for your main actor for this film? Without a doubt, it was emotion. I wanted someone who could show emotion uh, in a variety of ways, really. Um, you know, he's, like I say, he's been through a lot in this movie. He's, um, he's lost his fiancée in a, in a tragic car accident, and he's come to terms with the car accident and, you know, the loss. And uh, all he's got is his friends around him. And um, he's always at his happiest when he's with his friends. So there's definitely a mixture of emotions uh, within the film, uh, right, ranging from, you know, happy times, uh, reflecting on old memories, uh, some really sad scenes, as he remembers uh, Shannon, his, his girlfriend, and also, you know, the scared side of it, when they come across this, this obstacle, you know, this uh, life, uh, life-threatening situation and I think uh, it's quite a diverse set of emotions you know in the film.
Fantastic. Now, just before we sign out, can you give us your best howl? <laughs>